Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to connect Go Charting with Bybit platform. Then we will learn how to do one click trading through Go Charting. And we will also learn how to do DOM or depth of market trading through Go Charting after connecting with Bybit. So first of all, let us learn how to connect Bybit API with Go Charting. So for that, you have to open the right panel, click on here, select Bybit as a broker. Now, if you see here, there are two information required. That is API key and second is API secret. Now, we also have two modes that is live mode and the test mode. So friends, Bybit offer two modes. The live mode offer the real trades, right? And the test mode offers the paper trades. So Bybit actually has two platforms. One is testnet.bybit and another is Bybit. So if you are using the API from the real Bybit platform, we will be able to place the real trades. But if you are creating API from the testnet.bybit, then we will be able to do the paper trade through this platform, right? So you can select either live mode or the test mode. So let me show you both the websites and the process how to create the API for Go Charting. First of all, you can see the URL is here testnet.bybit.com slash en dash us. So you can simply search for testnet.bybit on the Google and this website will open. So you can log in through your Google account or you can make your own account. And after logging in, this kind of page will be opening. So this page is for the paper trading that we have seen for the test mode in the Go charting. Now let us go to the real Bybit page where we can do the real trades. So if you see the URL for this page, it is bybit.com slash en dash us. Now in this page also, you can log in through your Google account or you can register by your email ID. Once you log in, now let me tell you friends, the process of making API is same for both the platforms. That is for testnet.bybit.com, also for the realbybit.com, for both the process is same. I'm going to show you the process to create API on, on the realbybit.com platform. So after you logged in, you will be able to see here your profile page or rather your account, main account page. Now here, if you scroll this a little bit down, here you will see this API option, right? You click on this API. Now here you will see this page and here you will see this link for create new key. So you have to click on the create new key. Now you can either choose the system generated API keys or you can choose the self generated API keys. Let us choose the system generated API keys. After opening of this page, you will be seeing these two options. So this first option is to create a generic API for any particular application or any particular platform. But this option will give you a specific platform related API. So if you can either choose this one or if you want to choose this one, now here you have to select the platform name. So here you can search for Go Charting, right? Or you can simply click on the drop down menu and here you will find Go Charting. Here, click on this Go Charting. So this API will be specific to Go Charting application. Now here you can either read, select read, write, or you can select read only. But if you want to do trading, you should select both read and write. Why? Because you will be placing some orders. You will be also reading your balances. So, you know, it will be kind of a two way communication. So you have to select this option. Now in your API, what all functions you want to enable, you can select it from here. Say for example, you want to place orders, right? So you should select this. You want to read your positions, select this. You want to do the USDC derivative trading, you should select this, okay? Uh, all these options can be selected based on your liking. And suppose you want to do all account transfer, transfer funds and all those things, you can select it. 
and you have to simply press on the submit. Okay, now when you press on the submit, you have to fill two verification codes. So first verification code will be sent to your email ID and second verification code will be sent to your Google 2FA app. So now let me put these codes. So to get the code in your email ID, you have to click on send verification code. Now click on the next. And now your API key and your API secret has been generated. Now make sure that you save your API secret here because after you close this window, your, you will be able to read your API key, but you will not be able to read your API secret. So make sure you press on the copy here and you save your API secret. You can also save your API key at a certain place so that you can use it. So once your API key and API secret has been generated, you should go to go charting platform and put these API key and API secret over there. Now let me show you that process. Now here we'll be putting our API key and API secret and we will click on the connect. Okay, so my Bybit broker is connected. Now let's explore the laser section. So laser section is here. From this laser section, you can see your trades, your orders placed, let me maximize it. Your orders placed, your positions, whatever your running positions are, your balance is here, and then your holdings, right? So for each section, like my trades, my orders and everything, for each section, you have here certain field lists. So for example, for my trades, we have these kind of field lists. So for my orders, if you click on here, we have these field lists like symbol ID, order ID, site, price, fill price, all these things you can explore. Similarly, for my position, my balance and my holding, you can publish your journal like whatever your journal is, you can uh, create some link, you can make it public or make it private and you can publish it, right? So you will be getting a link about your portfolio. You can share it in the social media or for your own reference. Then we have certain trade settings over here. So this is the show execution, beep on execution, show position, show open orders and show notification. So these are some... Uh, you know, kind of notification you will be getting when your trades are getting executed. If you are into paper trading mode, you can reset your paper trading from here. But right now we are connected to Bybit. For paper trading, you have to connect Go Charting as a broker. You can also download your all these data into the Excel form. So this was about the laser section, right? Now, let me tell you actually how we can uh, place the trade. So we have three options to place the trade. First is this one click trade. By this one click trade, if you click on the buy or the sell, it will directly place at the market price, right? So this is to execute directly at the market price. So if I click on the buy now, you can see this order placed successfully and this one line has come. Now, if I click on the sell, this sell order has been placed and this line has simply gone. So that was about the one click trade based on the market orders. Now we have two more options. So we have this buy button here. If you press the buy button, you will get a trading panel. And here we have four options. What are those four options? Limit buy, market buy, stop market. This is stop market orders and this is stop limit orders. Okay. So if you look at carefully, look at this carefully, we have this stop price. That is the trigger price. And when this price is triggered, whatever market price is available, it will sell to that price but here we do have the stop price as well as as well as a limit price so this is the trigger price and this is the limit price up to which the order will be executed so this these are the four options similarly in case of sell uh, you can also select it from this sell option here we have limit sell we have market sell we have a stop market we have a stop limit okay so these are the four options in case of sell now, let me explore it further. Here, we have two more options that is take profit and stop loss. So in this case, you, are, you can also place the bracket order, which are the take profit and stop loss orders. 
Similarly, in case of market order also, you can place this take profit and stop loss order. Let me try to place a market buy order with the take profit and stop loss order. So this is my market buy order. Now the price is 26,243. So let me book my profit at 26,600. And let me put a stop loss as 25,800, 25,800. And I'll just click on it. Now the order is executed and you can see, this is my uh, take profit and this is my stop loss. Now, if I want to cancel, if I cancel this order, the parent order along with the bracket order has been canceled from here, right? So this is how you place the order. Now there is another way to place order. You can simply right click, okay? And you can go and buy limit, okay? So this limit by order has been placed. You can also simply buy market price. You can also put this sell stop. What is this sell stop? This is actually market stop order and this is actually limit stop order. So you are getting these four options when you are clicking below the market price, okay, below the LTP. So you are getting buy limit, buy market, sell stop, sell stop limit. But if you are clicking above the LTP, you will be getting these four options that is sell limit, sell market, buy stop and buy stop limit. Okay. So based on where you are clicking, you will be getting various options. Now, one more feature is suppose you want to buy this as 26,000, right? So you, are, you can place your cursor at 26,000 and you right click. So the buy limit option will come at 26,000 only. Right. So this is how you place the order by right clicking. Now there are some more important settings. Let me try to explain you. So we'll go to setting here. And if you go to this trading setting, okay. So these are the settings like show execution. So uh, basically uh, the execution will be shown. There will be beep sound. There will be position shown and notification also will come. These are self-explanatory options, but let me tell you about this enable quick trade mode. So now if I make it off, okay. And now if I'm trying to place, uh, you know, buy order by right clicking buy market. Now you see, I'm getting this trading panel. Okay, this trading panel is coming. Now, suppose I am again going and making this uh, quick in uh, quick trade mode as enabled. Now it is on and if I am right clicking and buy market, the trading panel will not come and the order is placed, right? You can see it. So let me cancel it. So the order is placed. So this is how if you enable quick trade mode, your trading panel will not appear. Okay. So that was one important setting. Now there are these three important settings. Okay. So mainly four important settings. So first of all, you can set your default size. So if I click on here, okay, let me switch it off. If I right click here and buy market, so what is my default size? My default size is one coming because it is set default size one over here. Okay. Now there are three important settings. So let us try to understand them. So first setting uh, is trigger is spread. What is trigger is spread? So in case of a stop limit order, right? In case of a stop limit order, we have to put two prices, okay? But if we do not want to put these two prices, what will happen? You simply uh, define what is your trigger spread. What is the trigger spread? The trigger spread is actually the difference between these two prices. So as of now, we can see the difference between these two prices is uh, just 0.1. Why? Because the tick size is 0.1. We have chosen only one tick size. You can also set it based on the absolute. And suppose we have chosen 10. Now let me try to place this stop limit order and now you see the difference is 10 over here because 25,771.5 and 25,781.5, right? So you do not need to all the time, you know, put two prices over here. You can simply put one price and the another price will be adjusted based on this trigger spread. So that is setting number one. Now, similarly, we do have the SL spread and the target price spread. So we you can uh, set it absolute or you can set it based on the ticks. So if you set it absolute and you uh, switch it on, so the SL spread is 20 points and the target price, spread, uh, target price spread is 20 points. Now let me try to put a buy market order. 
So this is market order. Now let us try to see what is the take profit and the stop loss. So the price is 26.253. So the take profit is 273, that is 20 point above and 233, that is 20 point below. So this will be automatically set, right? You do not need to uh, set the target price and stop loss price all the time. So this is a handy tool uh, for scalpers, right? So I hope you have understood the importance of these three settings. So suppose I'm placing this order. Now this order has been executed and you can see uh, there are three orders. One is the uh, buy market order and there are two uh, sell orders that is target order and the stop loss order. So let me cancel it. And if I close the position, everything is closed. Similarly, if you want to set only the cover order, you do not want the uh, target price. So what you can do is you can simply switch off this target price. Now for each order, you this, this will act like a cover order. So for each order, a stop loss order will be placed. So for example, I click here and I buy market order. I click on here. Now you see, I can see only two orders. This is my executed orders and this is my stop loss order. So this can act like a cover order. So earlier we saw how to place the bracket order. Now this is a kind of cover order. Let me cancel it and now everything is gone. Okay, so after learning how to place one click orders, now let us learn how to place orders through the DOM. So now here we have a DOM. So if you click on here, now this is our depth of market. Here we have the bids and asks in the form of limit buy and the limit sell orders. So first of all, here is an option to change the block size. You can adjust the spread between these prices based on the block size here. Now, if you want to place the market buy or the market sell orders, you can directly press here and here you will be able to place the market buy and market sell orders. Now, remember friends here, we are getting the bracket orders. Why? Because in the setting here, if you see it carefully in the setting here, what we have done here, this SL spread and target spread is on, right? So if you switch it off, you will get only the market buy order executed. So this was about the market buy orders from the DOM. You can press exit all and all the orders will be exited. You can also cancel all the orders or you can reverse the orders. Now in the DOM setting, we have two sections. One is regarding the order book and second is regarding DOM itself. So here, this volume profile visual range colors can be adjusted for the POC as well as the range. So which you can see it here. All the executed trades can be seen here. So from the time we have opened this DOM, whatever trades have been executed can be seen in the buy and sell. And this bid and ask represent the limit buy and the limit sell orders. You can either show or hide the volume profile visual range. And you can also see your orders. So these are the settings for the depth of market. From here, you can make it out on the center view or you can scroll it up or down. Now, let me tell you how to place a limit order directly from the DOM. So suppose you want to place a limit order over here. What you have to do, you have to simply click over this level. And the limit order has been placed. This limit order has been placed as a bracket order for the same reason as I have explained just before. Now, if you want to place the stop order at this level, you should press Alt plus click and it will place a stop order. So this stop order will be a market stop order. And if you right click, it will place a limit stop order. So we have three options basically. On the left click at these levels, you will be placing a limit order. On the right click, you will be placing a stop limit order. And with Alt plus click, you will be placing a stop market order. So this was about how to place order through the DOM. So I hope you could get a fair idea about how to do one click trading, how to connect Bybit with GoCharting and also how to place order through the DOM. Thank you guys.